relatively easy to link straws together in a line and make a tower, but do you think you could put enough of them together to make a tower that's taller than you are, and one that would stand up by itself? Well, I thought of making a really a bit of scaffolding out of lots of squares, but they won't stay square, they keep collapsing, so that's a yeah. disaster. You're using pins as well, but yeah. squares are not very rigid. Triangles seem to be a lot more rigid. In fact, if you join three straws in the form of a tripod, just as in a camera tripod, and then build your tower up from there, you'll find that you can get to quite a height before it topples over. Look at that one there. Just pins and straws, you're pins right. Pins and straws. Right, yeah. Now that's on carpet. Watch what happens when I put it on a shiny surface. Here we are on the little round table, and I'll let it go, and the legs mm. splay apart, the and legs over it goes. What about tying the legs together? It's exactly what you need to do. And if you tie the legs of a triangle together, you end up with this sort of shape, which is called a tetrahedron. You can see that it's really four triangles all joined together, and it's a very, very rigid shape. So if you start with that as the base of your tower, you may, in fact, be able to build a tower that's taller than you are. Obviously, the bigger the tetrahedron, the taller the tower. Goodbye. See you next week. Thank you.